Appreciate the support on the last video. This video is gonna be a little bit more focused on both of the cars, both of the, the truck and the car, right? But um, if you guys remember about two months ago, this we actually got bent. We had it replaced, we had it fixed, and I had insurance on it. And as you can tell, this one has like a little bit of light scratches right there, and it's kind of like in a uniform circle. Um, but it drives perfectly, we got it balanced, no issues with that, just took a regular amount of weights. Drive trucks, perfect. And uh, today we just picked this up. So it came in the mail, or it, yeah, it came in the mail, but we want to go pick it up at the at the discount and discount tire. And on the wheels and tires, I had basically bought in an insurance that covers like any wheel that I have on the truck aftermarket or not. And so since it was bent, we went ahead and used it. So we have a brand new wheel in here. I'm probably going to sell it uh, 800 bucks or, or, or best offer. Uh, actually, it's like $800 firm because this is like a thousand plus dollar wheel. If you don't want to pay the $800 and you guys would actually be interested in the repaired one, I'd sell that one for like $450. Um, and I'll just go ahead and slap this one on my truck. So yeah, it's a 20 by seven, six by 135, right? So it's the F-150 lug pattern. Um, let me try to get you guys the specs. Should be on one of these sides. Huh, I don't see it, but let me see if it's on here. There it is, yeah. So that's gonna be the code itself, the skew, the backspacing, four and a half, cap is included, valve sub included, lug nuts not included, that's the only thing. So if you guys are interested in that, hit me up. And we're actually gonna be taking these tires to get mounted on my rear bead locks because we're not gonna be using bias plies anymore. We're gonna be in swapping over to the pro bracket radial because this tire alone and some suspension changes made us improve over half a second and a quarter mile. So super excited for that and uh, this weekend, this weekend's gonna be Cars and Coffee here in San Antonio on Saturday morning. And then Sunday evening's gonna be the Street Science pre-Texas 2K meet. I wanna go to Texas 2K, I kinda of don't. I don't really have too many friends that are going, so who knows, if we go, we're just probably gonna do, I don't know, a little bit of street stuff, a little bit of this and that. But if you guys want me to go, if you guys can get me to 1800 subs by the end of next week, I will go to Texas 2K. So if you guys can go ahead and do me that favor, like the video, subscribe. I really want to reach 2,000, but I'll settle for 1,800. We get 1,800, I'll, I'll take both vehicles to Texas 2K. I'll take the twin turbo car, and I'll take the Whipple Supercharged F-150. All right, so we got these wheels right here. These are some Weld S-72s that are my buddies, Alan's, but Alan, I'm gonna use your wheels real quick. Because we're gonna take these wheels off, and then we already got the tires loaded up, and we're gonna go get them out, and like I said, so uh, I'll just go ahead and do this. All right, so we got the wheels back here. They're about to get dismounted and new ones mounted, of course. And we came to Spino's Tires uh, here in San Antonio and check out these. I'm pretty sure they're brothers matching cars in the GTR. Pretty cool. All right, so we're headed to Cars and Coffee. We got the we got the truck ready to go. Who's piloting the truck today? A Money and her friend. Yeah, and her and her friend Karen. So we're gonna go ahead and roll out. Um, after this, you know. We might purchase no, we God, might bye. purchase another car. It's not gonna be us, but another twin turbo car might make an appearance on the channel. We're gonna keep it low-key right now. We're not we're not gonna tell the other buddies just yet. But Alan and I are gonna go look at a twin turbo 10 speed car here about like 45 minutes away. And uh that's if the deal goes through. So come on. So that squad just pulled up with the GT3 GT3 RS leading the pack, with the Rari, with another Porsche, and an AMG. So and a little old old school Rari right there. We just got the C tank crew that were just rolled up, some OBSs looking clean. And then Andre is behind me with the with the whip. We got a C6 ZR1, a little clean 5.0. And we're almost at cars of coffee. Sorry, sorry about the weight, but you know it's always a little ordeal to get in here. We got a whole line behind us, look at that line. All right, so we have the car here, and we have the truck here. We're about to go check out the rest of the meet. But we have the cousins here that came. Heck yeah, 956, you know? Yeah, it's just, it's a taxi work. Corvette. Z06s, C7s. We got some Shelby's on that side. Oh, look, what's on that side? No, it's a Ford GT. Dude. This is the first Ford GT I've ever seen in real life. This is insane. That's insane. 
nice GT500, GT350. And look at this Mach 1 right here. Are they CCWs? What wheels are those? Whistler wheels. I don't know, but this fitment goes insane. Chris Chingola, bro, nice car. Oh, we have more new edges on this side. Another two valve. Pretty sure they're two valves. Another Mach 1 screaming yellow, I think. This, this truck's pretty clean. Size 37s or 40s? 37s. Looks nice. Avalanche to match. OG Mach 1. Look at that kid smile. He's gonna grow up to be a gremlin. <laughs> then we have a badass Camaro over here on this side. Alright, we got a Z01. Is it a Z01? I don't know. You guys tell me. Hey, should we do the. Look, there's another Cybertruck. There's one over there. And there's another one over here. Let's go check it out. What the heck is a rolling lock type looking feel? <laughs> so that's how it looks. We got the SRTs. I think this one's a Demon and then this one's a Demon 170. Yeah. Demon 170, regular Demon. Oh yeah, I like that color. Good. Oh my, it still has like all the plastic in there. All right, now we're entering the exotic part. Starting off with some Lamborghinis with some Raging Bulls. Nice spec. STO. I think this is the first time I've seen an STO in person. Other than Texas UK, the yellow one. This is goes insane. And then Perfumante. That's pretty cool. This is the one we saw whenever we were in traffic. Carbon seats. And then we got the GT3. Look at that interior though. Oh, I love this. I love that when the GT500s also have that. But oh, it's a GT2 RS. My bad, my bad. It's way too clean. Bentleys, McLaren's on that side, but we'll get to it. Gallardo, Gallardo. We got the McLaren 720s here. Silver one and a red one. It looks rowdy. I don't know, I kind of like the silver. I like the orange accents. We got a 911 Turbo S along with the whole Porsche crew on this side. Looking real clean. Let's go down the line. Oh, this why I want nice. Oh, I like that little silver one. I think that's the OG GT3. That is. I've seen this one before. Actually posted it on the last Cars and Coffee video. And look at that. Is that a Supra? Is that a Supra? And then this Trackhawk's always here. Hellcat, TRX, another Hellcat. Allah, an NA. Little NA setup, a Hemi. And then we got some GTRs. I didn't even notice the GTRs when I saw the Supra. Does look like a 2JZ turbo, kind of like a 45, 50 millimeter turbo. R32, OG Datsun, Fantasma. I like lane. And uh, the most beautiful spec GT turbo I've ever seen. We got a Porsche, I think this is a GT2, and Camaro with the 427. We 
BMW, but look at that Shelby car. Look at how close the hood is. I want you guys to look at that. Oh my goodness. That's insane. So we got a little MSUV. The interiors on these go insane. It's pretty spacious. I like the seats. Oh, even with the duffel bag? Like that? That's pretty cool. Wheels? Could have done better. They dropped the ball on the wheels. But the rest of the SUV looks really good. We got one Rivian, two Rivians, three Rivians, four Rivians. They're pretty cool. Little camping setup. And then we got the, the game here. Bikes. The Boosa right here. Hope you guys enjoy, you know. Oh, there's fox bodies on the other side. <laughs> we got some fox bodies. The lineup over here. Another one over here. A little C7 action. Another Fox body, and then these like huge, massive trucks that I, I don't know if I showed them earlier whenever we first got here, but. We got people around the car, and then the badass trucks. Expose Gio real quick. What does he have? 
3.5 pulling. So that's it's not super not super small, not super big. That's just solid. You know? Good lucky car. F-250 right here. You know? What would you guys want me to daily after the single cab? Like an F-250 or like an F-150 Platinum Raptor? Fomoco, you know Fomoco right there? <laughs> and then we have a, a Viper second gen, I believe. Looks clean. And a and a Lambo back there. Got a little rat tail. Actually, rat rod. Hell oh, yeah, brother. A little BMW M3 action. Got this one too. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah. We have Bentley. And we have the Ford GT3 RS. This is like way too insane. Hey, you know the Porsche don't even have like lug nuts, it's just that one thing? Oh yeah, the center cap. Yeah, the center cap thing. Like a one piece lug nut. The machine we to take We got right here with the clean single cab. Hell yeah, brother. For the 956, yes sir. Franco's performer. My body Hellcat. Zero one again. He does? I didn't know that. We got Brandon and Anna. Big body. Bentley. The Viper again. The Gladiator. Furicon. Oh, I like that Rubicon. That Performante does look sick. Alright, what else do I have already? Hell yeah. <laughs> Danny. Are you, are you plugging for old Danny? You're gonna let him show you up like that. Huh? The guy, Danny, you're gonna let him show you up like that? Look, Alan, you should get you should get those wheels. That's 81s, but V-Locks in the rear. Allah. <laughs> Why are we? We're not even peer pressuring. We're just recording. Yeah. Uh, gotta do something. It's like poke. Do something. <laughs> you do something. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All the CCWs. Lambo. Got a bike. Clean taco right here. That is a clean taco. Oh, hell yeah. You see that one over there? Hell yeah. I think it might be C8 on four Giottos too with the floating center cab. A little fox right there. 
dual flip. C7T. Oh. 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 Hellcat. Oh, look at that GT350. God damn. It's not even the 6.2, it's a 7.0. It only came out one year. Really? Yeah. Like what we got going on over here. What we got going on over here. Hell yeah. Oh, that car sounds clean. You heard that? That turbo whistle sounds so good. body over there on that side another M4 it sounds so good yeah, it it's a K-series yeah, Allah how do you know you know those cars or no well he has one Allah we got a Honda boy Allah We got a Super Legra. You saw that kid smile. <laughs> he was the happiest kid alive right now. Audi R8. BRZ. Oh, that Viper. Oh, that R8 sounded so good. This is fucking clean. <laughs> Oh, look at this one. The lean queen, hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. I know. Substantial. Uh, like, I'm, I'm six foot. Am I six foot? Uh, she says 5'11". <laughs> For comparison, yeah. Six foot with my Yeezys or boots on. Is that a 392 Jeep or no? It is. It is a 392. That's kind of cool. That is cool. You should daily one of those. Who's? Who's talking? You. <laughs> Let's go look at them right now. <laughs> oh, C63. Low 67. The SL63. Going hard. You think you're the shit? You're not even the fog. Dang, you just got it from the dealership. Straight to cars and coffee, right? And Porsche over there. Yeah. This was the Mach 1 I really liked. This one stood out. Nice Cobra. And the C8 that has a Lincoln filter. I've seen this one out before. This one's clean. <laughs> and a carbon fiber track pack on air left suspension. Now you're good, bro. Oh, yeah. We've got some more trucks over here. That one's leaving. This one's clean. Bikes are rolling out. Oh, this is where the Mustangs are. A little bit too late. We got this Cheyenne 427. 
it's a, yeah it's a clean truck bed done and everything Ralph, this is a nice truck. Ah, thank you. He, he ordered a 24 single cab F-150. You got an F-150 single cab? Yeah. This is clean. All right, so Cars and Coffee was a success, but let's go ahead and get into the real part of the video. Um, We have a, basically like a Facebook Marketplace deal that was really good to pass up on so we're gonna go check it out alan was already planning on uh basically boosting his car right he, uh, alan has a 2020 gt50 with like 65 70 000 miles but it's one owner he's a, he's the only owner of the car so he knows exactly what's like he knows the car right basically ins and out he hasn't done anything other than the lund tune and a cold air intake and uh he got a helion kit he got a four innovations uh uh, fuel system he got the injector dynamics uh, he got the oil pump gears crank sprocket so basically he was like ready to rock and roll and like install the turbos but we just found a car that's built by pickle performance if you guys know them out of dallas the car only has 5,000 miles now those 5,000 miles have been like pretty tough on the car uh, we found the original owner on instagram we found the second owner on instagram too we know that you know it's a twin turbo car it's a modified car of course you're gonna beat on it you're gonna race it and stuff like that but we're gonna go check it out in person it has an lpf twin turbo kit um with comp uh oilless turbo so it's very like similar to like the hellworth performance kit if you guys are like um if you guys know that kit uh it has axles drive shaft uh, basically it has world s77s already on it it has the correct tire on it it has the boost controller already set up so basically alan would be saving money and he would actually be making money if he trades in this car uh he he has positive equity in it right now and he'd be able to sell the turbo kit the fuel system and stuff like that so hopefully it works out um i don't know i'm kind of against not against buying modified vehicles but you know you just never know like but uh the guy that's selling it he's a pretty good guy I follow him on social media so i don't think he would do us wrong uh because he has a pretty good social media uh following himself but nonetheless we should be meeting up later today and let's see how it goes